we are asked to simplify the given trig expression. For the first step, let's convert everything to sines and cosines, and therefore let's write tangent x as sine x divided by cosine x. So the given expression is equivalent to the quantity sine x plus sine x times cosine x, all divided by sine x divided by cosine x, plus sine x. Let's write plus sine x as plus sine x over one. Now let's find this sum. Notice the common denominator is going to be cosine x, and therefore we'll multiply the numerator and denominator of sine x over one by cosine x. Now that we have a common denominator of cosine x, the numerator is going to be sine x plus sine x times cosine x. Notice how we have sine x plus sine x cosine x here, as well as here. Let's go ahead and factor out the common factor of sine x from this sum, as well as this sum. This gives us sine x times the quantity one plus cosine x in the numerator here, and all this is divided by this fraction here, which again, if we factor out sine from the numerator, is sine x times the quantity one plus cosine x, and all this is still over cosine x. Remember this large fraction bar represents division, so we have the numerator of sine x times the quantity one plus cosine x divided by this fraction here, Let's write the quotient as a product by multiplying by the reciprocal of this fraction. So this complex fraction is equivalent to the numerator of sine x times the quantity one plus cosine x. As a fraction, we can write this with the denominator of one, and then times the reciprocal of this fraction here, which is cosine x all over sine x times the quantity one plus cosine x. And now before multiplying, we can simplify out the common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice we have a common factor of sine x here, as well as a common factor of one plus cosine x. There's one sine x and sine x here and here, and there's one one plus cosine x and one plus cosine x here and here. So all these simplify to ones and therefore we just have one times cosine x, which is equal to cosine x. So the given expression simplifies nicely to just cosine x. I hope you found this helpful.